Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have yet another 2023 Traverse, and this time it's the Premier Redline Edition. So yes, welcome back to another video. If you have followed me here on the channel, and you know I have done several videos on the 2023 Traverse, and today we have another one, and unfortunately it's in one of the same colors I've already covered before, Radiant Red. And in terms of changes for the 2023 Mod Year, the Traverse is relatively unchanged with just a few new colors are replacing some older ones because the Traverse went through a full refresh for the 2022 model year. And on the topic of colors, I don't recall there ever being an option for the red exterior paint with the red line appearance package. So that might be a newer availability as of the 2022 or 2023 model year, as typically in the past, the red line appearance package required white, silver, or black paint. And because the Traverse is relatively unchanged for this mod year, that means pricing is very similar to the last mod year. However, it did go up slightly. Here in the Premier trim, it went up $600. So that means the base all-wheel drive Premier now starts just over $51,000, including destination. So with all this information in mind, let's not waste any more time and take a look at what the 2023 Chevy Traverse Premier all-wheel drive Redline package has to offer. So the Traverse in front of us is finished in the new Radiant Red color. I also featured this color on the 3LT trim level video I did a few months back. So if you're interested in any other trim levels, like I said, I have four other videos on the Traverse. But overall, this color is very nice, has a good amount of metallic flake in the paint. I haven't compared this side by side to the Cherry Red that was available before, but overall I could see it being very similar to that color. But up front, you're gonna find some of the unique design elements as part of the Redline appearance package. And this is gonna feature the overall same design on the exterior as the 2022 model year. Up top, you have your LED daytime running lights and LED turn signals. LED projector headlights below that with some chrome accent trim. You have the gloss black grill as part of that appearance package with the black bow tie. Front camera for the 360 camera system and some dark chrome accents. Overall looks very sharp up front. Coming to the wheels, you have your 20 inch Redline specific wheels with the red stripe accent. These are 255-55 Continental Cross Contact all season tires. And here on the exterior, you have your gloss black lower trim. That is again, part of that Redline appearance package. The normal Premier will come with body color trim. Gloss black mirror caps with your Redline vinyl strip, LED turn signals, auto dimming driver's side, and interior mirror, the passenger side is not auto dimming, but it does have blind spot detection. Unique red line traverse badging. Proximity entry on all four door handles. And here from the side, you can really see all those gloss black accents as part of the red line addition. So you're gonna have the gloss black door handles, gloss black window trim, and of course all the trim on the lower side of the vehicle. Coming out back, you have your full LED tail lights. Look very sharp for the refresh traverse. There's your Redline specific badge once again and more of that gloss black dark and chrome accent trim. Rear parking sensors, backup camera, 360 camera, black bow tie, all wheel drive badge in black because this one is equipped with all wheel drive and then your dual outlet exhaust as well. Overall, I think the red Redline edition here looks very sharp. I know the badges don't contrast as much as some of the other exterior colors with this package, uh, but overall it looks very sharp. Definitely one of the better colors with this package in my opinion. And as part of the Redline Edition, you do get the dual sky shaped sunroof, which we'll touch on more later in this video. Uh, but overall here is the window sticker for this Traverse. So overall that is what this package includes. Stepping on the inside, you're gonna find the black leather interior. It would have been cool if they would have continued some of the red accents here on the inside, but unfortunately that is not the case. Here on the door panel, you're gonna have a lot of soft touch materials. So you have a soft touch leather armrest with some accent uh, gray or white stitching. Cool pattern around the door handle here. We have a chrome door handle pull, two person memory driver's seat, power windows, mirrors and locks, and the mirrors are power folding. So that is a nice extra touch. Power programmable tailgate. Bose premium audio system. So overall, this is going to have a lot of the equipment available with the Traverse. Power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar and some accent piping and stitching. Overall, it would have been cool if this was red accent as well. Go ahead and start it up. 
So immediately you can see we're greeted to the same seven inch partially digital gauge cluster as other trims of the Traverse. This is a configurable display so you can control it here on the right side of the steering wheel. Go through some of the options. Of course, I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with, with what it displays, including tire pressure, some of your oil filter life. You can set a timer, trip information, MPG, digital speedometer, all that stuff is configurable with this display. Leather wrapped steering wheel, it is heated. You have adaptive cruise control on this trim as well. So go ahead and set the gap right there. This is a power tilt telescoping steering column, so that is a nice premium feature. Automatic high beam assist, regular wipers, automatic headlights down here with your gauge illumination, soft touch dashboard all around. Overall looks very nice. Coming to the infotainment system, this is your eight inch HD touchscreen. It does have built-in navigation, so you have your map feature right here. Wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay, Sirius XM, AM, FM, Wi-Fi hotspot. You can control some of your climate settings here on the screen as well, if you don't want to use the physical controls down below. So it does have tri-zone automatic climate control, two up front, one in the rear. And there's your 360 camera system, like I mentioned earlier in this video. Overall, good resolution on this, very easy to use although it is looking a little bit dated in terms of some of the competitors that have larger screens in general. But one of the cool features about this system is that it does have a cubby behind it. That's something you don't see in really any other vehicle out there. So that is a unique feature of the Traverse. Hard touch buttons down below for some of the functionality. Heated and ventilated front seats. Like I said, dual zone automatic climate control. USB-A port, SD card slot for the built-in navigation, auxiliary port, 12 volt outlet, large wireless charging pad. So that is nice to see. Some of the other GM products in the past were fairly small. This one is very large. Leather wrap shift knob, of course, two cup holders. Here's your proximity key fob, the same one that GM has been using for quite some time. Does have your power lift gate and remote start on the vehicle here on the key fob. Electronic parking brake, stop start off, lane keeping assist. And this one is all-wheel drive, so you have a few more drive modes here. Of course, you have the all-wheel drive mode that you can switch to. And this one also features the off-road mode as well as a tow haul mode. So those are some of the available features here with the all-wheel drive. Nice soft touch accent stitched armrest. It is fairly large in size, as you can see. It does have a light, but really nothing else inside. Up top, you do have a black headliner with a microphone for the Bluetooth functionality. LED interior lighting, three garage door home link settings, power sunroof controls, that is part of the red line package or you can option it separately. Here's your rear camera mirror so you can flip it between the camera and the auto dim regular functionality. Overall, fairly nice interior. Good amount of light that get, gets let in from these sunroofs. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back seat, see what you get with the Premier. A lot of the materials will follow through to the back door. So you have the same soft touch armrests with the accent stitching. Lots of storage down below in the door, including a cup holder. This is a seven passenger configuration, so you do have reclining bucket seats. Again, they look fairly nice. The leather is nice, soft. Mat pockets on both the front seats. There's a look at the front. There's your third zone automatic climate control with heated second row seats. 120 outlet with two USB charge ports. Both seats do have armrests and we'll show the third row once we get to that side because this one does not have the easy access to the third row. So coming around to the trunk, power lift gate, of course, and you'll find a good amount of room behind the third row seats. 12 volt outlet, extra storage beneath the floor, and this will stay up automatically if there's nothing on top to weigh it down. And your spare tire, like seen here, is below this cubby. Take out the four little nuts and you can access your spare tire there. But overall, pretty basic here in the cargo space. 
Now here on the passenger side, like I mentioned, this is the only side that features this kind of tilt and slide functionality. I wish that was on both sides of the Traverse. You can see the third row is moderately spacious, pretty competitive with the class overall. Stepping inside, you do have USB-A charge ports in the third row, cup holders, vents up top. So wrapping it up here on the passenger front seat, Again, all the materials are going to be the same. As far as power passenger seat goes, it's full power with two-way power lumbar. So it does have height adjustment and all the adjustments of the driver's side. Soft touch dashboard with kind of your perforated leather right there. Damped glove box. It does not have lighting inside, but overall it's a pretty good size. A little extra storage on the side of the console. But yeah, if you've seen any of my other Traverse videos, and you'll know this is pretty standard issue stuff. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look under the hood and we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. So under the hood of the Traverse, you're gonna find the same 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine in all of them. It puts out 310 horsepower and 266 pound-feet of torque through either the front wheels or all four wheels if it's optioned with all-wheel drive through a nine-speed traditional automatic transmission. Pretty stout powertrain. It definitely moves around the Traverse without much issue. So overall, the Premier is gonna be very similar to some of the other Traverses I've done videos on, namely the High Country. Yes, the High Country does get some better interior materials overall, uh, some unique exterior design bits, but the options and features are gonna be very similar. But with that said, I wanna to touch on the sunroof as well as the Redline Edition package. So like I said, that does include the sunroof here, and it's about a $1,200 option. Now, if you were to just option the sunroof alone, which you can do on several trim levels of the Traverse, it's about a $1,500 option. So if I'm doing my math correctly, you save about $300 or so to option the Redline Appearance package and you get the sunroof. Now, if you don't like the exterior cosmetic look of the Redline Edition, obviously you might not wanna do that, uh, but if you do like the look of the black accents on the exterior, it's much better to go with the Redline Edition uh, to get the sunroof rather than an option separately. So that's just a little bit of a hack out there that I noticed is that it's actually cheaper just to option Redline to get the sunroof than to option it separately. Uh, but again, if you don't want the sunroof or you don't want the Redline, you don't have to get that here on the Premier trim, which I do like about how GM options their vehicles is that you can choose not to have a sunroof in the upper trim levels, which again, to me is nice versus some of the other competitors, which just kind of lump it in to some of the trim packages. So with all that being said, once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. It greatly helps out. And if you guys are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and check out some of their content available. Like I said, I have a bunch of GM and Chevy videos, mod year change videos, which goes over what changed for the 2023 mod year. I have Hyundai walk arounds. Overall, just a bunch of automotive-related content, so make sure to check that out if you're interested. So make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Traverse here in the Premier trim level, or uh, if you just want to leave a comment about the channel, feel free to do that. I enjoy engaging with you guys. So as always, feel free to leave a comment on any of my videos. Once again, hopefully you found this video helpful, and as always, hope to see you guys in the next one.